Hey there, Mitch. It's February, the month of love. Yet here I'm talking to my computer. Okay, jokes apart, we have a new video on hovercards. It's a kind of a beginner video, but it still got some cool animations in it. So do watch fully. Before jumping into the video, let's take a look at what we're gonna do in this video. Let's create a stateful widget because we are not gonna handle stage for the whole page. Obviously, right? Before moving any further, we are going to create a stateful widget as we are going to handle states only for the code. Let's create a variable to handle the states. Let me quickly create a container with a black background. I have already mentioned the hovercut above, please don't miss it. Let's take a look at the design and decide what we will be doing first. In this design, we can see Nike text at the very end, so we will do that first. Before proceeding with the text, let me first import Google Fonts. Let me go to the pubs by camel and get it imported properly using pub get. All things are done here. Let's move to the text. We have created the text now, but it looks a little bit different from the design. To make it appear in a single line, let's make soft wrap property false. To position it according to the design, let's use position widget. To get started with the hovering effects, we will now use mouse region. On enter callback will let us know whenever mouse enters the region. So we will use this to make is hovering variable true. The same goes for on exit callback as well. But in here, we make it false. Next, we will proceed with this blue circle at the top right. To do this, we will be using animator container as the circle animates while hovering. Now we will use the ternary operator to make the blue circle animate by altering the item with properties. Now we can see the animation is working. So let's use animated position widget so that we can align it at the top right. Now that it is done, we will move to the next part. Now let's bring in the product to the show. In here it's Nike. I have imported the PNG inside assets folder, but before using it, we need to add it in pubs by camel and we'll perform a restart. We will have to use animator align over this image to make it animate while hovering. Okay, now as the circle animation is completed, let's see the design once again. 
In this design, we can see the elements are arranged in a vertical manner. So we will use column widget to achieve this. Let me just quickly copy the text widget that we have already created before. Okay, now we will create a separate stateful widgets for sized buttons to handle the states separately. In here, we will follow the exact same procedure like what we did for the blue circle. Now we will mention the sized button that we created inside the row. We'll implement a new row now for the color section. To make the small color palettes, we will now use circle avatar as we don't have to handle much. As usual, we will use animated position widget over the column widget to animate its position. Now the position is animated, we will now work on making the widgets invisible while we are not hovering over it. And to achieve this, we will now use animate opacity. As now the entire section is complete, we will now move to the buy now button. But before hopping into that, we will once check how the buy now button animates in the design. In this design, we can notice that the buy now button is delayed a little bit while animating when compared to the above elements. So we will play around with the duration and curves of the buy now button to achieve this delayed at a nice animation.
Now the coding part is done, let's take a look at our final out. And that's a wrap for this video. Stay tight until we meet you in the next video very soon.